For some very strange reason, my computer today would not connect to Google or Gmail or YouTube or any sites that were run by Google. Uh, I tried dozens of little tricks that I got on the internet for people who've had this same problem. None of them worked. Now I tried a different browser. Um, I've got Chrome. I've tried IE Edge, um, AVG Secure Browser, what have you. None of them worked but they'd all connected happily to other websites so it's only Google that was at fault. Now I flushed the DNS cache and reset the hosts file in system 32 and all kinds of weird stuff. Uh, nothing seemed to do the trick until on the computer I ran a system diagnostics uh, on checking the internet and it, it kept going on about the DNS server not found so that gave me a hint that I had to look in the system here for something to do with the DNS servers. So change adapter settings, this is control panel, network and sharing center, change adapter settings, brings up these, here's the ethernet, Bluetooth not connected, Wi-Fi not connected, this is the one that we want. Right click that and click on properties and we have a selection of things. Goodness knows what half of them do. But this one here, Internet Protocol. Clicking that came up with a selection here where it was actually clicked onto that one. It was used the following DNS server addresses and there were four numbers in there for the IP address. No idea what they were. As soon as I clicked that they disappeared so I can't go back and check what those were but obtain DNS server address automatically and obtain an IP address automatically seem to have done the trick because if I then click OK get out of those and then go to Gmail and up it will pop and we see that Gmail is working can I read emails yes I can so that's all working fine if I go to YouTube will that work will that come up yes it will uh, that works fine uh, so it looks like we've cured the problem so I don't know why something in the software or some gremlin uh, decided to change that setting but setting it as I've showed you here has worked for me so if you have this problem with Google sites being unobtainable, give this a try.